Hello to all of my friends around the world. In today's video, I would like to uh, talk a little bit how to use this FLR program. For those of you who don't know, uh, this FLR stands for Foreign Language Role Running Technique. Now, um, role running, we know that that's referring to speed. So what this is about is um, building sentences quickly, building fluency quickly in the targeted language. Now, don't get me wrong, I believe that it takes time to learn a language. It takes a lot of time to learn a language, but I also I also believe with smart study, uh, smart techniques, one can learn a lot in a short period of time. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys that here in this video. Alright, so um, what I have here, I'm going to use Japanese as an example. And I'm going to just go ahead and create some sentences. Just I call it sentence shuffling. And this is what I do for my um, exercises. A lot of people ask me in the past, um, what do you do? Do you work on the exercises in the book? This, These are my exercises. This is what I do for those exercises. Okay. So um, what you see here is level one, the Japanese lesson for level one. So I'm going to start with that. And then after that, I'm going to go to level two and show you guys what you need to do. Um, in this course so um, for many of you who purchased this this course you know that you have your questions okay many people have seen this before you have your questions all your interrogatives you have about 40 I believe there's like 44 questions and answers here okay and I believe that um, whenever one begins to learn a language you need to know um, certain questions and answers. I think it just, it, it just, I mean, it makes a lot of sense to um, begin learning certain things. I believe the interrogatives, the questions, common questions that you will, you will hear from a native speaker when you meet them for the first time. And that's what this is here. Everything here is relevant. So this is my whole philosophy. It's to uh, learn the relevant things first. Okay. So you have your questions and answers, and then as you get further, um, let me see. Okay, we have some. Um, let's see, other important questions that will be asked. Just some example sentences. Show you how to use certain keywords, and then you have your role running keywords here. So the keywords are basically builders. Okay, the, when you know when you know the keywords, you're able to just build sentences uh, quickly okay so these are all the keywords you'll get um, let's see and I believe these are some examples in on how to use those keywords and the parentheses that's what that means the parentheses just telling you that those are the keywords difficulties incorporating difficulties with keywords showing you how to use the keywords with the difficulties and you have some idiomatic expressions okay and then the introduction sample. Oh, I need to fix this. Okay, the introduction is just basically the end. That's how you need to know how to introduce yourself in the language and whatnot. So that's level one. So basically, what you need to do, you need to like um, when you have this course, you need to um, I explain on the on the DVD, the actual video with the course that you need to choose at least five sets of questions and answers. You can choose five sets or ten sets. It doesn't it doesn't really matter. Um, I guess it just depends on how much you can handle. Okay, so I'm going to show you a list that I've compiled here. Um, I have, let's see, one. Okay, so this is a list. I, I took, um, I chose some questions and answers from that list and put them in a notepad. Uh, I decided to uh, choose these for uh, for this week. Okay, seven days. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten sets of questions and answers. If you can handle ten sets, then go ahead and choose ten sets. If you want to just work from five, you just work from five. Okay, so you need to take at least five sets, ten sets, how many ever you want to work on for the week. And then at the bottom, I have my list of keywords. So I chose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten keywords, and these keywords are going to be used for incorporating in those um, above questions, uh, questions and answers. Okay, 
So this is what I'll be working on for the entire week. All right, and I don't I won't move on until I until I've mastered everything here. I understand all the questions and answers. I know how to use the keywords and whatnot. Now, as far as the audio, you want to take the audio. Um, you might have to number it, but um, you want to put let's see the audio. You have the question. <coughs> You have the audio for the question and the audio for the answer. I'm going to show you here what I've done with mine. So over on iTunes, I have, let's see, German. Okay, I'm working on German now. So as you can see, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10, um, what is that? Is that right? Oh, okay, I think that's 5. Okay, yeah, I see what I did. So these are all the questions and answers that I chose for the week and um uh, along with those you know my script the questions and answers okay so what you need to do is put the audio in let's say if you do have iTunes you need to do like this and you may need to number them because if you don't it's going to be scrambled so like the uh for example let me go back to this uh let me go back to my week 1 okay so for you uh, who's teaching you Japanese I'm self taught I teach myself so when you put this in the iTunes, you want to make sure maybe you can go 1A and 1B and then 2A, 2B so it can be in order. Okay, so you can listen to them in, listen to them in that order. So who's teaching you Japanese? I'm self-taught. So um, once you do that, then when you begin to work on those exercises, when you're writing out the sentences or whatnot, you can just have this playing, just shuffle it. That's norm that's that's normally what I do. I just shuffle it. And as you can see, I listen to it over and over and over and over. And while I'm making the sentences, I can read those I can read them, you know, at the, at the same time. So, um you, there's no need for me to explain about the listening. I like like I told you guys before, I like to listen to them until they sound like until it starts to sound like music. And once it starts to sound like music and I understand, I can read everything, then that's when I move on. Okay? So these are all the questions and answers you need to do do this here. All right? So again, when you're working, let's say you you just you're about to begin on your exercises, you need to make sure you put all your audio sets in the iTunes, put them in order, and then once you begin, start just play it and then you can begin to make up these sentences. Now, let me open up another pad here and just show you some examples on how I will make some some uh, example sentences from this list okay so let me change to my Japanese alright so okay where can I start so this is sentence shuffling okay this is what I what I mean by sentence shuffling mixing them up so um, I go down to the keyword list. Although I want to try to use although, okay, Keledomo. I want to use although here. All right. So although, where can we use although? Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So right here, I st this answer. I want to learn Japanese because I want to go to Japan one day. So. I could use although there. I could say um, I want although I want to go to although I want to learn Japanese. This this part although I want to learn Japanese, I don't have a teacher. See, I went up here. So let's say I let me see. Okay, Itsuka Nihoni Ikitai. Keledomo. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Although I want to learn Japanese because. Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry, sorry. Although I want to learn Japanese. Okay, I started wrong. Okay, although I want to learn Japanese. Nihongo o manabi tai keledomo sensei wa imasen. See that? Nihongo wo manabi tai keledomo sensei wa imasen. I know many of you can't read Japanese. I'm just showing you some examples. So if you look at the English, I want to learn Japanese because I want to go to Japan one day. All I did was I was looking at, okay, I took keledomo, although, 
you know, I asked myself, okay, where can I use Keredoma? Where am I going to use that? So I decided to come here and take, I want to learn Japanese, although I want to learn Japanese. And I say, okay, what, what, can I, what else can I use to add to that sentence? Excuse me. I don't have a teacher. Sensei wa imasen. So that worked out really well. It makes sense. I want to learn Japanese, although I want to learn Japanese. I don't have a teacher. Now I know some of you may say, well, how do we know where to use the the, the keyword? What if we don't know how to use it? Um, there are some other, um, you can, I guess you can um, find certain grammar books if you have to, um, if you're having trouble on um, how to use these certain keywords or just, just try it out, you know, just um, just do your best and then get out there and go to a chat room and try it out and see how it works. Or you can use, um, I know um, there's a Google Translate. You can use Google Translate and see how it comes out. But don't rely heavily on Google Translate because it's not 100% accurate. So it's, it's good to a certain extent, but it's not 100% it's not good. So you can use Google Translate or some other programs or some books to see if it makes sense. And then use it on a native speaker. Okay. All right, so back to building. So that's what you do. So I want to learn Japanese. Be I want to learn, although I want to learn Japanese, I don't have a teacher. So that's the first one. Okay, and remember, we're doing this for an hour, so I go find something else. I try to use Keredomo again, although. So um, let me see. Okay, so here, when I have time, I like to go fishing and play video games with my friends. I, I want to use, although here, um, although I like to go fishing and play video, or oh, sorry, although I like to go fishing, I'm just taking that part. That I like to go fishing, I'll stop there. Although I like to go fishing, stop and find something else that makes sense. Um, although I like to go fishing. You see, let's see. Although I like to go fishing, mm -mm -mm -mm. okay. Although I like to go fishing, although I like to go fishing, I also. I also, let's see, I also like to play video games with my friends. So you can use although here. Although, although I like to go fishing, although I like to go fishing, I also like to play video, video games with my friends. See, this is all here. See, play video games with my friends. Although, so we will do this. Um, so although I like to, although I like to go fishing, so we could, we would say, um, see, let's you are, let's you are, Tsuri, Tsuri ni iku koto ga ski, ski desu ke le domo, tomodachi tomo, tomodachi tomo, Video, video game, oh, suru, suru koto. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put mo there. Mo ski this. I'm gonna take mo from there. All right, and um, mo, which is also that is a keyword down here. So you, you see. You can use more than key more than one keyword at one time. You don't just have to use one. So watashi wa I tsuri ni iku koto ga ski desu kele domo. See, although I like to although I like to go fishing, tomodachi to tomodachi to with the friends video game o suru koto mo ski desu. I also like to go um, fishing with my I mean I also like to, I'm sorry. I also like to play video games with my friends. Alright, so I use two keywords. 
I use two keywords in that sentence. Are you guys getting it? That's that's how you shuffle the sentences. So you can actually take something from here and incorporate. You you, you take a keyword from the, your keyword list and take something from this line here and incorporate it with may, maybe a line at, at the top. Okay, and that's what you'll be doing the entire week. Okay, it's a very good exercise. And like I said, you want to try these out in a chat room. Use them on native speakers. All right. So that's all you do. That's that's all you do for level one. You you go through this whole process. You have your keyword list. Um, open up a notepad. Choose your questions and answers, and um, you start shuffling the sentences. That's all you do. And then while like again while while you're doing that, you you're going to have the audio playing for all of these questions and answers. All right. I hope that makes sense. So let's see. Am I forgetting anything? <coughs> Excuse me. See, so that's level one. Now I also mentioned that um, you can actually use other courses. Like if you get bored, if you're the type of person who gets bored working from one course, <coughs> and you want to, let's say you're working on Japanese and you want to, you want to use Aussie Mill or uh, something like Aussie Mill or Yo Koso, any other Japanese course, you can do that. You can do that. You can spend like maybe an hour building your sentences like this and then go to a course like Aussie Mill and use um, work on those three lessons I mentioned like combining lessons you work on those three lessons at one time listen to them over and over and over again and then write them out I explained that in another video okay I think you guys may have seen it but if not I'll, I'll post a video response to this one so you can actually do that you can um, work on this for like an hour and then go to another course and um, you know like, like I said I see mail listen to the dialogues and then write them out and that's it and not only that when you when you do use the I mail course you can actually use the same methodology that you use here like when you go back to this course here let's say uh, the next day tomorrow you want you came back to the FLR course you can actually incorporate the vocabulary from that Aussie Mill course, those dialogues, you can you can incorporate it with this stuff here, all the stuff in the FLR course. Okay. So um, there are all there there's always um, there there are always you can always use other vocabulary here. Like I'm sure in the first three lessons you can take some vocabulary and incorporate them with these uh, questions and answers here, and, along with the keywords. Okay. All right, so that's level one. I hope that makes sense. That's all you have to do. So once you once you complete once you complete level one and you get to level two, the concept is pretty much the same. So this is level two here. And as you guys know, those of you who have purchased the course or used this course before, you have a total of eight readings. All right, and this is similar to. Um, like if you if you use Asimil, you'll notice that they have text. It's it's sort of like this, or even link. Okay, when you use those programs, you'll notice that they have text just like this one. All right. Now, what do you do with these texts? That's that's the uh, that's the uh, question here. How do you utilize how do you utilize these texts to the fullest? So like, let's say we're on level two now, reading one. What you want to do again? You want to spend seven days on this entire reading here. Seven days. The concept is the same as before. You want to add this to your iPod. Listen to it over and over and over. Just try to make sure you understand everything. Okay, read it out. Very important. Okay, once you get to your exercises, then you're going to do. You're going to break this up. Okay, you're going to. You're going to make up your own sentences, breaking this up into parts. So again the concept is pretty much the same as level one let me show you here so I'm gonna take something from this let's see let's see what we have okay so so I will go through this list here see what we have let's see what does you know kazoko to isho ni ryoko ni kutokoro desu I'm about to go on vacation or take a trip with my family that sentence there. Let's see. 
私はいつも、OK、私はいつもできる限り、彼女と一緒に練習をしようとしています。OK, so, I, I, I try, I always try to practice with her as much as I can. With,、uh, let's see, 私はいつもできる限り、as much as I can, always try to practice with her. Practice with her. We we're talking about Japanese. So, I want to, I can take this part here and go back up here.、Um, dun, 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 dun. Let's see. What does she know? So, I could say. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so I could say, Watashi wa, or Watashi no, Watashi no kazoku to isho ni ryoko ni iku tokoro des. Kara, this is a keyword, therefore. Okay, I want to use a keyword here. One of the keywords I learned before, I'm going to use it here. Kara is not here in the reading, I added it. Okay, what does she know? Because I go to Ishoni, Ryokoni, Kutokoro desu kara. Therefore, or because I'm going, because I'm about to go on vacation with my um, with my family, um, let's see here. We go back down here. Uh, let me see. Okay. Kara, it's more, it's more, um, dekiru kagiri as much as I can. Dekiru kagiri, we can actually, if you want, you can take the kanojo out, which means her, and you can put it with tomodachi, you can exchange it with tomodachi, this, this, tomodachi, uh, tomodachi to, tomodachi to, Isho ni, um, Isho ni what? Isho ni Nihongo o Lenshu, uh, Nihongo o Lenshu, o Lenshu shiyo to steimas. See that? 私の家族と一緒に旅行に行くところですから、いつもできる限り、友達と一緒に日本語を練習しようとしています。So, this is from, this is, this is from two different parts of the reading.This came from this part, the first part, 私の家族と一緒に。I added から、that wasn't in the reading, but I added as a keyword. In order to put this one together, in order to stick this, stick it together to itsumo dekiru kagiri, okay, as much as possible, as much as I can. Tomodachi, I took out, I took out kanojo, and put. I mean, I could have kept kanojo, but I just decided to use tomodachi. Tomodachi to ishio ni nihongo, and I added nihongo here because perhaps you know we're going this this vacation we're going on is 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 to Japan, okay. So that's why I took that, I took Nihongo and, and you know, use it there in that place. So that's it. That's what you do. You, you, that's how you make up your sentences. Like, you're, I mean, you're making them up, but the, the stuff is here. Okay. Those sentences are here. You just, they're just, they're just broken up. And of course, you may add some, um, voca some, um, keywords that aren't introduced here in these readings. All right. And also, what you can do is go back to level one and utilize things you've learned before and, you know,、um, and incorporate them here in these readings. So that's what you will be doing for all these readings. All right? So if you notice, you can use the same method for other,、um, other readings. Let's say if you used Link or if you used.、Um, <laughs> Another course,、um, I see meal or teach yourself. Any, basically, any course that has dialogues like this one, any course that has dialogues like this, you can 
you can utilize this the FLR technique the exercises shuffling exercise the shuffling FLR technique just making up your sentences the same the same technique it works for anything that's what I do okay if I'm bouncing back and forth from you know course to course if I'm using IC mill teach yourself then I will use the same why not if I'm using all these courses together why not use the same methodology why not use take vocabulary from Aussie Mill and bring it over back to this FLR uh, the FLR course and, you know incorporate them with it you see so like I said it's just all about smart study if you do it in the right way you will learn a lot and that's that's why the that's why the course is called that's why it's FLR foreign language world running techniques because this is it's the speed this is the speed of um, this is the speed building okay so like I said it takes time it definitely takes time to learn a language but if you work in this way you will learn a whole lot and it's a lot of work it's a hard work but if you put the time in you get the you get the good results so I think that's pretty much it um, we went through level one level two and um, that's all you need to do just uh, make up your own sentences for that whole week um, now you don't have to necessarily stick to the whole week you can if you want to say two weeks you can it all depends on you all right there's there, there isn't a rush here there's no rush getting through this stuff you want to take your time but I just figure that you know from my experience seven days of going through this it, it you know it it's it's enough time to um, master everything and then move on okay so I feel that I'm missing something. Okay, I went through level one and we just finished level two. Um, that's it. So that's the core of the FLR technique. That's what I do, and that's what you need to do when working through this course. All right. So if you guys have any other questions, if you're still confused on what you need to do, let me know, and um, I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise. I wish you guys the best with your studies, and um, thanks for viewing, and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any other questions.